Tiki's Urban Jungle Contest submission sent in by one of our Discord advanced builders, Mr. Vanderpants. This is a Tiki Cheeky Coaster, and he says... Welcome to Tiki's Urban Jungle, a compact steel coaster wrapping around a modern Tiki Cheeky restaurant with a beautiful viewing platform from which you can watch the coaster fly past and even through the restaurant. Oh my, 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 that is bright. I like it. Yeah, I love these colors. Oh yeah, it's shiny. This just Jeez. screams... Let's have fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's patterns. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. All right, lots of fun details. We're doing is... I'm going to say it again. This might be the first Looney Turns. <laughs> All right? Yes. <laughs> I like to point out when it is a first. <laughs> I think... I think... Well, actually, I'm questioning it now. Mm-hmm. I think it is. Um, so, 6.4 excitement, 4.31 fear, and a 1.06 nausea. There's the rest of the results. We got music, planet adventure. Let's go on that adventure, hot sauce. guys. Oh my! Hot sauce. That looks great. <laughs> and we are doing POV. Let's go to seat two. Very cool. So far, it's a great use of the Looney Turn mechanics. Night POV. I think this one would be really good in cinematic. We're doing it. I'm cheating. up some really good speed on that drop, didn't it? Seems a little fast on that outside turn. I think it's all right. I think it plays to its strengths. The Looney turns does. Uh, it's it's known to do these flips into drops, as well as outside turns. Yeah, the and outside banking though. I usually expect those to be really slow. Mm-hmm. And that one seemed just a little fast on on one of the outside banking turns. I'm not really complaining much. It's just I expect those to be kind of slow. That's fair. Now, how many cars you got? Three. Three. Looks like the yeah, three. Nice the block breaks. Yeah. Um, I, I'd like to look around inside the restaurant a little too. Yeah. He made custom supports for the lift, right? I yeah. At first, when I looked at it, I thought it was all custom supports, but then I realized that the other ones aren't. But yeah, that is. Yeah, he had to make it there so the support didn't clip through the yeah. building. Uh, yeah. I, I like this nice viewing job. area. It's like a tiki bucket. It's quite clever. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we drop right through the center of the restaurant. I mean, that'd be really cool to be sitting in here and seeing a coaster go through. Yeah. Not dangerous at all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's just <laughs> rails. Throw, throw stuff. <laughs> It was very smart to yeah. chicken, uh, throw, throw greasy chicken, chicken at them. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you added a second level inside so that you uh, you didn't have a negative space. Mm, and the angled shapes are really great. Um, the Hot exit of the, of the coaster just comes pops out the front there. I assumed it would go into the shop. What? So just, what now? On the left hand side. On the left, under the yellow. Yeah, there's the exit. Yeah, it just kind of drops you outside the building instead mm. of the the shop. Yeah, I in other words, it would you... go into the shop first, and then you come out. 
Yeah. So you kind of look at the entrance way here and you go, well, do you need two entrances to lead in? Because it's really what you have, right? Wait, where's the entrance? That's yeah, how that's do I actually of... get to the coaster? That's not the entrance. Oh. The key, yeah, the... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's a good use of the footprint. It is. But where does it come out? Over here. So Why is it in other words, elevated you don't really there? have a you don't yeah, truly a little more, I think. Yeah, you don't truly have a reason though to go up to the restaurant, do you? The ride doesn't For funnel you into it. Yeah. The ride doesn't funnel you through it though. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice restaurant, but yeah, I would have preferred the exit to go through into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that's not in the rules or anything. Right. right? But, but it's one of those things you okay. think about you, when when you're in a park most shops or something are, are somehow tied to the ride that pushes you through now this one is tied to the ride the ride actually goes right through the restaurant so that's kind of cool mm, that bit's great with the coaster going through yeah uh it's very vibrant and playful there's a lot of purple you can tell it's tiki g i mean if, uh, tiki g is a pretty tough one to nail down because it does have multiple colors here you're dealing with oranges reds a little bit of green and a lot of purple so we're getting that purple here um but i think different tones of purple would have been good i mean we could kind of see it here maybe just a slight bit darker just to break up that, that this the same amount of pink you know what i mean just a little bit less saturated on some in between or i guess uh a more purpley purple a violet i don't know what the term is and then purpley purples <laughs> i don't know i'm, I'm really impressed well this is like a pink with this yeah they went with this yeah, really the other one's like playful, a, like a, yeah. this no, really one. playful fun Violet. color build instead of it all being covered in jungle I, I yeah no no like this. no I, I do i do like it too i'm just trying mm, to think how thinking that how you can you accent it yeah because a lot of the pink like does blend together and i'm just trying to think of ways to break it up i i do think maybe a little bit of accents of wood would be nice and i don't think it takes away from the playfulness Ooh, the accents of wood would looked really nice along the, the yeah, top of the, the building top there. And stuff. Yeah. Little bits. Just just to bring in that, along the that walls yeah, that front maybe to tie it to it. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit of accents of wood. Just to break up that playfulness but still maintain it. You know what I mean? Just just to bring out that tiki cheeky a little bit more. That's my thoughts. Boom. All right, there you go, everybody. That was Tiki's Urban Jungle by Mr. Vanderpants. And that's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next contest entry. Bye now. Bye. 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 Bye.